Good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Coming live from Fire Up Your Heart, children of God. And that's you. No, you're not God. You're the child of God. Although there are children of Satan, <laughs> we're born a little of both, I guess you could say. It depends on what family you were born in and raised in. So we're going to do one of my jump around videos where I just throw out a bunch of stuff, but I tried to make notes so I at least complete thoughts because, well, that happens a lot. I don't. And then I'll one thing will lead me into another. And then if we were on here for three hours, I may very well have circled back around. But there's been things that were pretty important that I forgot at some point. It's like when I complain a bit about John's schedule, but then I see how him and I can sleep. Um, so if we were both sleeping all night, I, we may not still be here. <laughs> okay, so um, we got the tongue drum and you can't hear much in the house that's also could be a little scary because if one of us fell down and help you ain't gonna hear no one he ain't gonna hear a thing it's way over there but the walls there's so many thick brick walls within the house too so because that we think well obviously parts of this house had fallen down or were reconstructed or because of the kitchen. That's the, the sure tail sign. But we will never get it. And the structure and the some of the structures of the bricks in the house. I've yet to conclude of which side was built first. I'd say this crawl area wise to see we could be on this for two hours. We're just trying to come up with the solution with not enough proof. So it's not really that important. I mean, maybe one day we'll go down to township and see if there's any any record of anything. I've got to stop the thing where if I'm sitting in here and the window's open, it's probably pretty muffled, but I'm on this thing with move your organized crime housing market. You can make a bundle, but the problem is, is you have to pay too much for your next house. You know what I mean? It's bullshit. Uh, did you know this is from a tissue box? Polar bears have serious stamina. They can swim steadily for long distance to get from one piece of ice to another. Their large front paws, which they use to paddle, are slightly webbed. So wouldn't that be cool to see them like... That's why I like bears a lot. Because I'm not really probably like one. But, you know, I can envy them. They're just, you know, they're strong, confident long endurance, but if, you know, something's, they don't care for what's going on or their babies and could be in harm's way that you could, you just, bear comes out. I like that. Okay. So that's, uh, did you know? And then, um, that with the personality thing, uh, that's always intrigued me. I, when I would take the test at college, that was what they were aiming at. And, still trying to find myself back then because when you're raised the way I was like, I had to be this one way with this lady. And then it, it just, you don't know who the f you are. And so it always seemed like I was coming out with the, the artist adventures, but there was another one and they always liked it because they said that I had the two at the end and one at the beginning. You know, I don't know. I don't know. Really. I can't remember. Um, I mean, I probably went home like super proud, just really needing my parents to be proud that I would like to get a degree. I didn't know what they were wanting. I didn't know like that, you know, like how sick it was. Like Cooper, Cooper Troopers, you know what I mean? It's just all those times she was stalking me like at employments and stuff prior to my son. Wouldn't have someone pulled her aside? But then someone else would always come out in the woodwork. Oh, come on, let's go up to that prayer thing. You can get, you know, just see if you can take off again. And then I lost my job at the health food store. That was so dumb. But honestly, for me, 40 hours at a health food place every week was seeing people. And it was somewhat slow still then in that place. But they would have really bursting days. Um, I It, was, it wasn't good for me. I, I, I'm horrible with a register. I would still be, regardless of how much training... 
credit card machines, forget it. Um, back then, I think we were even having to check the checks, but yeah, we already had, it would have been just credit cards. Were we in debit yet? We weren't on debit yet. She was patient with me. She saw potential, but I couldn't do 40 hours there. I would have needed like maybe 20 hours with them, 20 hours at another type of employment. Um, and maybe something sprinkled in, but I really wanted to get back in school. I was like 21, stone in Toledo. So I see where like he's on that. We see each other like mid and then we go home. Like, so we have like our, how we go about seeing one another and spending time together. Um, and so if we were both on the same, it would have been harder to keep track of our properties and what the shenanigans going on with the evil people. Cheaper cheesecloth. Whoa, we went from that to this. Yes. Um, it's going to be like that. So stay on track if you can, if you can't find someone else, find more rehearsed folks. Okay. So this is technically cheesecloth, but I would consider this like a cheaper cheesecloth, like, because it's, it's bleached. I don't. I wouldn't advise it. I mean, you, if the, you know, everything goes haywire and you're capable of making your own stuff or you need it to wrap the meat. But what these are cool is I found these at this little market we're going to now. And I like it because it can get in, in the store and out and there's enough to choose from with just two people. And, um, actually my appetite kind of went in the bucket with the kind of like it's the reunion of the silent explosion. We didn't think I would live. I, we, my husband saw what happened. Like he saw it, like what was going on in my face and the symptoms that I couldn't breathe. Um, I don't know how the feds or whoever set it up where it was like, I don't, I'm not sure how agent orange was done. I mean, to me, this would have been like so similar to that type of thing where this thing came blowing through and it was just this really intense, like, pressure and just like my head was going to explode. And then there was the blood in the ear and then the, all this swelling. And then I couldn't breathe at times. And we were doing homeopathic and our own thing to try to remedy when it seemed is that it was, they blew the like poisons, like say poison Oak or something like, or it was just a fluke. And but it was the fact though, it was, there was this, you know, you knew it was, it was a bomb. And I didn't listen to the Holy Spirit. I'd been cooped up a few weeks. I wanted to get some pre-weeding done on the side of the house there at the other place to avoid uh, Dave and Charlie and all the, the gang of rapists, sick fucks. Is, um, I knew not to go out that day. And I saw the thing coming cut through the back of the neighbor, Charlie's backyard. And I couldn't move in time. It was already already blew me up. And so praise God, I'm good. I don't want to cry. But, uh, I, when I say my fake brother, he, he terrorized his older sister and he, he was way quite not like five years younger than her. So, I mean, if a five-year-old younger brother can terrorize an older sister, I mean, if that gives you any idea. So obviously by the time I come around, he had to learn how to hide it better. They were going to protect me from him. August, 2022, that would have been. And so it was like kind of bringing up and then it would be around almost a two year mark. <laughs> John's mom died and we lost our two pets within that year in 21. I believe it was, it's all a blur really too many, uh, scary events. So what is she doing with this? Well, this was only a dollar 49 where I'm shopping for one, it looks like quite a bit. I can probably just get the measurement. Two square yards. But if you don't know what two square yards are, I would learned how to sew and I forced myself to learn it quick, but I technically learned most of it at school because the lady that raised me was intolerable with showing me anything with any sort of kindness. Uh, and trust me, no one was ever around. That's That's the fun part of those types of abuses is there's no one around. You're cooped up with the psycho, you know? So is this doubled? Okay. See, so it's double, it's doubled. See what I'm saying right here? Okay. So, all right. 
That's a lot. And so she, you're like, what is she? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Now, obviously, it's not as of, like, say, of sturdy quality. This is when you don't have no money or whatever the fuck. You can't get medical. So, like, these gauze heads, I don't have the price. But it's going to be, like, a ripoff, right? So this, if you had this, and you had other fabric, and you, but you, even if in a real crunch, um, toilet paper, uh, unscented, unlotioned tissue, paper towel, plain, but... You could use these for uh, wounds, and this you would just cut this into into pieces and, and use that as the as the netting over your thing to take care of a wound. Okay, so now we just took too long with that, and put that over here. We did that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, that was that. My riches are with Jesus in heaven. How about that? Oh, God, I forgot the, the craziest one. I've never been able to really pin down if it's FBI or CIA. Kind of. The FBI have a different, it's a different energy. He must have been CIA. Which, I mean, when that's the day that your husband nearly gets, he's, he would get um, a head on, just barely getting out of work. Uh, on just a regular road, not a, not an expressway. The morning you're kind of up, you can finally hang out with them because your schedule had gotten off a bit because the grill owner is saying, do you still have your dogs? But like she didn't take into account that they set up Frank to knock their fence down. And something backfired with the Luciferians. The reason I say that is I never seen her so happy to serve a, a, a packed grill than the Luciferian gathering that we stumbled into. Cause I'm like, I just want to play a little pool real quick, please. And I, but even though we knew we shouldn't probably keep going back there is cause there were some red flags, uh, with some people with the Frank, the setup at the fence. We were barely here, you know, that kind of thing. And, um, I mean, there's not much to say. I mean, I, I got his plate number, but I ain't going to look it up. And then now th John's phone's doing like a voodoo, like poltergeist. Like don't, the light is so bad. It's like, it was like two or three days ago, the two tires, he had to stay back, sent pictures. I'm like, what? And he said, the car is so small, a Cooper, that I mean, you could weave in and out of a, a <laughs> And, you know, the smallest little area. You know what I mean? And uh, he's used to riding, driving a big truck, but he's he's getting more accustomed to it. We don't have the, t the light. We have that waiting for if his hours go back up. And so that event had happened in the morning. And so he was nearly over two hours late. And then there was something else and something else. And I remembered I woke up early. It was like, but it was like 4.30 or something. And I'm like, no, nah, no. You know, but I mean, at least I'd still gotten sleep. I didn't sleep most of my childhood all the way up. I mean, very little. very. It was very fragment. And that's how they rode into the mental problems. And then they were able to take that and drive it into the bipolar. And I'm not saying I never had bipolar. But uh, how come nothing worked? I mean, you actually cause more damage every time you guys tried another pill. The only reason I was dipping is because I was trapped with pedophiles and I couldn't do it alone. And I had no idea if under the suns of all at all, 
why Eric and the fake bro that passed last um, September um, and all that, like protecting it, you know, that's, that's, that's a real red flag. And then nobody believing that the Lebos would be stalking me, but yet they had tracked me down at AA meetings. We've had all kinds of bizarre, scary, 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 scary. You guys, you're looking at, that's the birth father of my son, the son that never wanted to see him again. Did he reunite with them too? And this has all been flashed back on me. I, I wouldn't shock me from what I saw. I mean, but I hate to be mean like that, but you, you don't get no closure for someone you popped out of your stomach and you don't care if you never see each other again, but just a little bit of civilized adult closure and stop lying like a fucking freight train, just like a parrot, like a lying. I mean, how many, I raised you, I knew all your, all of your whatevers and I just let you figure out what you wanted to decide. It's very interesting. So what would have gotten them in such a fluster duster? I subscribed to some new people on Quora. The one guy had like a really informative thing where that Robert, one of the Kennedys, it sounds like he's had like a throat thing, but more like he's just being choked the whole time he's talking. And I'm not being mean right now. It, obviously he had something occur that he has damage or he had to recover out of something. Um, but the, the whole, the whole speech about, 16 minutes Lord. that um that all this has been known the whole time the nazis came over 40s what do you, i mean and i'm like what is this supposed to make what what you know and so then all of us that got terrorized because we knew about 9 11 being inside and all that And then when I saw the, even though my one professor, he begged me as one of my performing arts, he's like, do not work at the De juvenile delinquency center, Heather. You're, it's, it's not, it's not a good fit. I'm like, look, they're not, no one's hiring me. The banks won't hire me here. And this is before I had any, any legal stuff, a little bit of a speeder in the car, but I was never really speeding when they ticketed me. Did I speed in between time? Well, then you deserved it then. Uh, no, I deserved to have a speeding ticket when they get me speeding right at that moment no they just clipped me because tom and them called the police these people were so petrified of me getting away i still that still really blows my mind we are special made in the image of god what i mean like special like like oh you can't touch this you know no it's that we are a we are a different we are different than the animals and the creatures all around. But would there be similarities? Do we even probably have some stuff laced into our DNA? All of those mystery tours of, oh my God, what's going on? You know, me and my son, one of our jokes when we could get along was, why are our arms so long? Who, what in God's earth? I'm five, I lied forever. Five, three, if I'm lucky. Like, our, our, I'm short. I see. Thank God he got taller. I, God, it was one of my regular prayers. He had such a, a poor kid. He was so little and all the kids were always just, the boys were just fucked with him all the time and about his height and stuff. And he would be like, he'd be like eight and stuff. He's like, he measure himself right here. Oh, those were the sweet days, huh? Oh, they just shattered us. It's hard to get over that one. Ooh, okay. And I didn't know if he was going to get taller than me. And I'm like, look, I can almost guarantee 90 some percent that you're going to be taller than your mom because your mother is a short little lady. And I can almost hands down. It's not a flake of, I can't say a hundred percent just cause I don't want you to be <laughs> because we have some shorties. We have some tall ones. I'm like, don't, I'm not going to say aim too, too high. Maybe on this one, we'll pray that you at least get to be five, seven or five, eight. And he's taller than that. And I'm glad. And, um, cause that was a stress for him. 
Copeland Rodeo, four dance episodes, <laughs> Appalachian Spring, Sweet Robert Irving, C O N. Why didn't they do C O N D? Conductor, excuse me. The Concert Arts Orchestra. Now, this is funny because I do not have a tape player anymore. So we all catch that. Copeland, oh, and the song names are even, this is cool, though. Well, I mean, this is for kids of some that have maybe never seen a cassette tape. Um, I mean, this would have been older than me from the look. <laughs> it would have just been at the Drew Estate or whatever, all that. So, so old. It's super duper duper yellow. I was shocked that it's not, it's not damaged. I'm like, oh my God, would it, would it work? Okay, there's some of the names. Four dance episodes from Rodeo, Buckaroo Holiday, Coral Nocturne, Saturday Night Waltz, Hoedown, the Appalachian Springs Suite. I think this, I think I did like this one a lot. I used to dance to it a lot. So it looks like this was, they made it like into more of like a ballet with the Appalachian ice ticket. Did you just move the note you were working off of now? I oh, know you of M, do you want to bring me back up and scramble jamble some more? Maybe we could get me put down this time, huh? Do you guys like that one? Almost got all of it back, but still a little scared of heights, and my sense of direction was fried. I used to have sense of direction, like you could plot me in the middle of nowhere, and I'd figure out which direction I'd go in. That's alarming that I don't have that back yet. O types, O blood types, almost hands down, without a doubt. If you were born with an O type, O negative, O positive, you have been tracked and watched and harassed and these were different theories I learned about from other people. And I also would kind of try to do some back checks on it just to make sure. Uh, I started studying the, the bloods way before I was on any online stuff and way before I did Wispy Princess and the Rainbow Mist book by Emily Russell, E-M-I-L-I-E-R-U-S-S-E-L-L. -L. It is through ASA Publishing. I just paid up what I needed, but I think he was just... I, I hate to say this, Stephen, but I, I know someone got a hold of you about Isla Moon. And we had that mess up with each other, and you took that as a racial thing. And I didn't because there was a hold up. You weren't letting us get a hold of you. And someone, something happened because you were gung ho. You helped me get the title. We were going to make this happen. But then later, like, is this based on true stuff? I'm like, it is based on a true story. However, I did change some of the lo some of the location actually i think i do blurt out monroe michigan in one part uh but uh names all the names were changed and i had said that i was a uh my dance partner um as actually a trained uh roller skater but it's just like ice skating but the sport died and him and i uh i bring i mentioned him the trip to sicily trying to run away um, or stay there, stay put. So you figure I already had the passport. I had these people I met over a week or two week, two weeks almost. And then we were there, we were trying to come up with a solution there for me to either a, at least stay longer for a longer visit because I had shared enough with my one friend I made. The thing is I can't get a hold of anyone that the, the first psycho, he made me burn all the pen pal letters. I can't even find my old friend from um, Island, but it's not Island anymore. It's uh, just part of Iceland. Oh my God. I mean, when her and I were young, we became pen pals in like second, third grade, somewhere in that realm. Or was it even a little sooner? It might have been first or second. I'm saying I'm going to say second grade. We looked like we were twins back when we were little. Toe heads, straight toe heads. But I don't think her hair tangled up like mine. Mine was just like a flying around crazy town. All like. Is, you know, why I just 
a little bit of wind and it's whipping all around and nodding up. <laughs> it's just the way my hair was. But she had a horse. I think at that one moment in time I had had my own horse. So we had like, these things in common. But even she was so, so young and she wanted to get on to the mainland. That was because that place where she was from was so small. She needed help with her brother. I was in high school. How did we finally get back to each other? I realize now they were, they were blocking people calling in. They were blocking certain connects. Tom must have been erasing it or they would just say I wasn't there, that I didn't want to talk to these certain loved ones that I had. And her obviously would be a loved one. Back then, if you're taking pen pal letters and you're taking the time to write them and stickers and just sharing and trying to get a photo and then you know it's taking forever to get across the ocean and up and to seek to get to her and um it's a really big deal you know really big deal and then we got older and we were able to get phone numbers and uh tried to do some keeping contact they tom and Anne, once again nobody overseas they were so petrified of me escaping their hostage takeover and so i got reamed ripped a new asshole because her brother something had occurred and it was bad and it wasn't his fault it wasn't his fault some kind of a government it was messed up but whatever he had done he had been framed or something and she, i remember just crying and i'm like oh my god oh my god i'll do what i can and i thought tom's head or whoever was eavesdropping i think they did they just would listen on the phone so is um we had like three phones you know i didn't know privacy so um he just like bah! you know like going like a loony because i was gonna try to get a hold of him well i think to try to get him over over to the u.s they thought they, if they could get some help to get him up and over here or some kind of help something occurred he, it wasn't his fault and he was framed for something something occurred i don't remember i i how can I keep track because of all of the lively events for 27 minutes? So we got the O, the blood type thing. I'm not saying other blood types aren't, but see, the thing is, is O the O type is, it is there's something different with it. Like I can't, if I, if I go in, I'm bleeding to death. Chances of them getting enough blood in time is, is not going to happen. And, or if they, they could technically just give me the wrong blood and off me that way. This book, I did it in the first station, the second station, which never fully grew, but I, um, I like this one, Diane Denson Butchman, Butchman, Butchman PhD. Now, but I think that even when she was writing it, she, for some reason, she was not giving enough. This is the only thing I have to say about it. Not enough measurements. So if she's saying, don't say honey wine, she does have a recipe for honey wine. So if she's into like a remedy, then, and then in the very beginning it is, she's very, seems very already like, maybe she had been targeted, obviously, anyone in natural medicine uh, outside of the MD um, realms or, or gosh, specifically speaking, if she's a PhD, she switched, started to switch more over into natural that's not going to go good either. To me, this was 1996. But this is good because it's not just the measurement. She she will show you for my mother, Renee Denson, and my daughter, Caitlin Denson Butchman. Most likely pronouncing that wrong. Copyright 1979. Wow. See, I didn't know that. This would be 1996. Oh, but see, even then she was, where she's saying like in the beginning, like, you know, I, you, I'm not responsible for blah, blah, blah. And so she does show some measurements for things, but then in some of them, it's like, how much am I supposed to? So I didn't know why that was like that. She'll still give measurements, you know, like four drops, six drops. Like here it says non-strep throat, gargle with six to 10 drops of echinacea extract and sage or ginger tea or cold pineapple juice. 
no, it's really a good book. I really don't have much complaints about it. There was just sometimes the ones that I really wanted to know a specific thing. I was having a difficult time knowing exactly how much. But most of them, like this, she has the measurements here. And for most all of it, she does. So you tincture techniques, adding water, non-alcoholic tinctures, some tinctures. This was herbal remedies. Um, that's funny. It shows a bottle of vodka in the background. Because vodka, you can use vodka for things like that. It's You can clean with vodka. Vodka is a technically an antiseptic type of thing. to laugh because I'm a drunk. Ah, okay, so oh, this is another note to do. Okay. No, no, 30. It's going to shut down. Okay. <clears throat> O types. We have to go out of our way to get cancer. I know that's why they kept radiating me as a child and I had all the heavy, heavy x rays done. I don't know what happened to Anne and I don't know how anyone could be that. I, I question if she was even really the real Anne. I, Tom is into some Nazi underground. It was so such a disaster. He must have had something within with the government and either A, he's like, we're targeted, me and Eric more so. I assume Kim was, um, but then like whatever deal was made and, um, or just to keep the, um, pedophile rings covered and whatever, like body removals, um, illegal abortions being done, things like that. Some kind of connect he had with something really dark and very disturbing. And you have to have many, many covers over that to make that not to ever be known. I just, Really, you guys did kind of really mess up, though, with you just... Free birds need to fly, and the Lord wanted me to keep maybe not flying. Here I am, right? Because that's what I'm supposed to believe. Right? Oh, gosh, dang it. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what's supposed to, supposed to go on. Now, it doesn't mean that O-types never get cancer. Please don't twist my words. I'm not a doctor. I'm self-taught in most regards. O types, like we have to, well, it looks like that's something I kind of go about, don't I? Just going out of my way to get the C word. Um, well, I definitely got like a weird tumor thing. I had lost a bunch of weight. Uh, that was with the handy dandies at U of M and all that going on. And they were kept trying to make me hang out with the brain cancer patients in the ward. And I'm like, you guys, Amy, brain cancer? Lo and behold, holy good Lord. I went home out of there. They were giving me stuff that I couldn't breathe on. And I they refused to re-look at my med and fit, find a suitable suit. For what? Because I reported a cartel? They had to get that written. Like in two or three hospitals. She's site a... Uh, Say, uh, schizoid, blah, 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 blah. Um, there was no mention of the cartels. It was shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. And if you talk about it again, you know, upper med, change the med. I mean, they had someone fondling me while I was sleeping. I could not move. Weights felt like I had 50 ton weights on all my limbs. I'm just trying to stop. You know what I mean? Married woman, they stick in there to have me violated more and more and more. Because see what the violations can do, they keep the violations up, the stalking, stalking, because if I'm violated when I'm born or I'm prior, good Lord, um, what was going on with who got pregnant? It couldn't have been a fun one uh, or it was fun and we had to cover it up is, um, I mean, they had to do me in, you know what I mean? And they had the one nurse who was so weird with me and. I think I tried to report her. I was just like, that girl, her boundaries aren't quite intact. Um, she's cute, but there's her boundaries is having issues. Yeah. Oh my God. So,
when I was in the hospitals, what did I do? Incessant uh, report writing. You have the forms. It's it's like more or less you have a disgruntlement with the hospital or whatever. There's a name for it's a more professional name. It's legal form, more or less. It's got three copies. And as a patient, you can fill these out. Well, they apparently didn't know I had gotten married down in Ohio. I've told a little bit of this story before. We're going back over it again. I'm sorry, but we are. Because a lot of people are hurting. A lot of people have been through what I've been through. And they they never got any any relief. And we probably aren't going to if I saw the CIA guy at the gas station. And they sent someone to the... Let's see. Did we get... We got gas last, I believe. Yes, because I had gotten the uh, wood chips for the chickens and turkeys. Well, it's like wood shavings. We do the larger chunk. Seemed there was one or two at the farm store, but we went back to cash again. We try not to take me to the town square much um, or do it randomly. So it seems like one or two, but I'm not always real sure, but definitely the, the gray haired, the gray haired, uh, government. We'll just say government part of something not fun. Now, when I see some of them, like one that old would have known all of the in nitty gritty, dirty, sturly, they just do this now. When they see me, they turn around and they go, some have like a mean look. And so I do it back. This time, I walked right. Like I went around. Normally, I would have went. Uh, my car's on this side. His Jeep was over there. But this time, I went right out as much as I could get near. But I had my my aviator, my uh, my alien glasses. Um, so he can't see my eyes. You know what I mean? And so. Um, And so, like, if I have them on, you know, I'm like, put him back on, get his plate number, go in, and say, hey, can I have a piece of pen and paper, please? But see, the young kids, I'm not sure if they know what that is. And she didn't know how to add up six gallons of gas to put in the, uh, tank, the, the containers, the gas cans to, for the mower and, and whatnot to have. Okay. And, um, so she's, she wanted my license. I said, you want my license? I'm giving you cash. I'm going to go out and fill two gas cans. This isn't complicated. That was a weird one. So I wrote his plate down. And it wasn't just an old guy saying, oh, look at that fruitcake. Because, you know, that's going to happen with me. Um, but it's it's a different one. It's a different look. They were sending them to Aldi's when we were going down there. We tried to switch to which one we were going to. I don't go in the big stores. No, no, no. They'll, I'll start getting cornered. John said he could barely stay in one spot at the farm store. Because um, they kept, all these cars were circling the Cooper. So they probably didn't know how he was still alive from the morning of if he swerved over, he would have um, been uh, a head on. like, And then this metal, he said something that just fucked the two tires on the passenger. It's really scary sounding. See, I woke up, I think it was more like 530 and I was feeling like something... Something's like, it's not worry, okay? I, people that aren't like in my group of targets, we have to live in a different space of time or we, we wouldn't still be here with the Lord. Um, is, uh, you know, I just was like, I got to get a hold of John. You know, I was like something like a preamble, like you just need to be up and ready. And like, but at the same time, I was just like, oh yeah, I'm up. I can kind of get some stuff going already. And, um... And then he don't have to do the chickens alone this morning. We can see him together. And he's like, oh my God. I, he's like, I barely got down the road from, and I'm like, what? I'm like, are you okay? And he's like, the fucked up part He's like, the way it timed out, he goes, I'm not saying it was plotted, but he's like, it was fucking creepy. And, um, that it busted the two. Um, and then he wouldn't have been able to swerve. And then the freak, 
old paranoid government guy at the gas station. The day before, that's that's how that's really lining up. Now, you know, or well, you don't know, but I have to fight, um, fight, I don't mean fight, I have to block out as much as possible auditory harassment. Then at the same time, I need, I have to be able to stay rash, enough rationale and ability to differentiate. This is harassment. This is from the devil. This is divine from the Holy Spirit. Um, because too many people say that they hear God and then they go out and go on a killing spree. There's a lot of, they, they started that decades ago because True, true people that truly do get inspiration from the Holy Spirit. And we're not hearing like, Hello, God shows. It's not like that. Okay, that's ridiculous, first of all. Back, back when, when I, when it really took, like got worse is when I got saved. When I got saved by Jesus at 19, between 19 and 20, that realm, that would have been the first year or so. Um. It, it was just like, it was just like that. The devil was at me 24 seven, 24 seven. I mean, he, he was so at me through the family, through auditory. I mean, I would get full on death threats in my head from the devil. The devil would literally auditorily. And even if it was made up <laughs> well, you weren't there and Jesus to let you know one day it ain't made up. Um, the demons, in my family and around about, and I could feel them out the side of the window in my bedroom. Um, I mean, this is before Wi-Fi. I graduated high school in 93. Um, I no longer did my college studies in front of the window. Um, I realized looking back, it was just, I was a new Christian and I had still so much fear base that the devil could just run a riot on me. And he knew it was going to be so easy to knock me off course with Jesus. And it, and I did, I did to some degree. I did. And I, and I got myself locked in that one, oof, that problem, you know, with the court, you know, plug, plug in the jug. Um, this was a real road trip. So like, say for instance, if I'm up at U of M and they keep me knocked out and that's what they would do against my will, no permission slips, nothing forcing me violently nearly to stay at the hospital when I realized I had went to the wrong side and what they were going to do to me. And then I had been guard. I had been making a mini, uh, or I would put three goldfish in this mini, mini pond. And I had mud, I had mud on me, but the neighbor, I think tried to choke me. Something went on. And so I just went into this full, horrible panic. And they had been doing a lot through somehow when all the smart meters went in to the, um, the double wide, just say trailer park, but it was mainly double wides is, um, I think it always, I don't think they had very many. That was like for the Hispanic district back in the back corner. I remember going up saying once, I'm like, I'm like, I know people like to live, you know, near their people, what like, but I'm like, is this seem slightly segregated? But I was already fucking with them because they weren't doing nothing about Ruby and Carl. And they were sent straight up from the feds. They were they were signed up hook, line and sinker to never leave me alone for four years. And they're with Larry. And um, when you're on a postage stamp and you got two old people just at you morning, noon and night. And it ain't because just they're just because they're old people They're They were hooked in the same church as the group that we moved in. We wouldn't have known this. Moved in Brentwood, same group, looks right at Hoyt and Carolyn, two of our biggest murder, temp murderers on our lives. And I'm like, oh, you guys knew Ruby and, uh, you knew Ruby and Carl then? Who? What? I don't know who that is. Oh, you don't? Because you go to the same church and he would volunteer to do, uh, like, greetings at the door and stuff like that. You know, old Vietnam vet? You don't know Ruby and Carl? <sighs> All right, so just trying to make sure I got everything here. This is an older note from the other day. Oh, the funny CNN one. <laughs> Russell Brand was being funny. I didn't know. I'm like, he doesn't believe this, does he, John? So it was fun surprise. <laughs> 
I shouldn't say monkey people, but it was literally this, he had to be a paid actor and they must be running low on paid actors. So maybe we are making some strides. A lot of us, even if we have a small crowd, a big crowd, or we're just kind of people that help get other crowds bigger. Um, it was like, I had to laugh at this supposed, um, archeologist who's in like a, um, I gotta go. No one's gonna watch it. <laughs> why can't I remember the dang thing when I need to? This is why I could never do open mic. If I was having a day like this or whatever, oh my god, what would I do? And so, um, come on, it's a dang movie. The pet. <laughs> watch Russell Brand. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Indiana Jones. I liked that movie too. The first one. Wasn't that fun? Wasn't that a fun one? The first one, Indiana Jones. Not that one though. Was that the one where they were eating monkey brains? I don't like that. I don't like that. Was that the first Indiana Jones? I wonder if I watched it now, I wouldn't like it. I forgot about that. I'm like, that's, I got to do Indiana Jones. That's the life I got to live. <laughs> Anyways, I don't think that's a real archaeologist. Just to do like a second note on this. It's not a real archaeologist, and please do not, do not believe what that man was saying. He dropped so many subtle bombs of, like, we're no better than a monkey or a snake. We're all the same. I don't know what the reference was to a teeny tiny brain in these old monkeys that apparently had evolved enough back then that they could bury their um, alive monkey people. I do know this. It's not a rarity for certain animals. Like I, it kind of registered the thing about elephants, elephants. Well, before they were all getting messed up and more and whatnot is, um, they will go back. They used to in their, in their group, the herd, and they would go back and visit. Like if they had lost one of the elephants, they would literally go back and visit where they had lost that that elephant, the mourn, they have a mourning ability. So you know what? We might have come from, we might have come from elephants. But see, the earth, it's, we, we couldn't all be elephants because uh, elephants are pretty big. I mean, they get pretty big. So there wouldn't be enough room. There would not be enough room if we'd all saved elephants. <laughs> did I just, did I just get one of the clothes? Lord, is that what it was? We came from elephants. Okay, I gotta go. Thank <laughs> you.